Hello and welcome to this quick walkthrough of settlement creation in Brunelleschi Age of Architects. Brunelleschi is free to play at brunegame.com. Um, in order to create a new settlement, you're going to need a Lord character. Uh, after you have a Lord character created, you just uh, select the settlement that you live in. It will ideally be the wilderness with a new character. And you'll just hit the move button, which should be prominently displayed. To create a new settlement, you'll have to look at the open ministries tab. If there are no ministries available, you'll just see this button right here. You'll be able to click that. Create a settlement. The first thing you'll be asked to choose is the settlement's region. This has a variety of effects, including a static bonus um, to some sort of production, and um, overall it will affect the transit time uh, for trade missions and for uh, military functions between these regions. Uh, at the moment, we have this feature partially implemented, so you can still uh, delay that choice to a later date. You'll also be asked to choose the base culture of your settlement. This culture is relatively difficult to change in the long run. Uh, while the feature is being implemented, however, you will be able to change it uh, at, at will. Your characters, um, uh, heroes and lords living in the settlement, will also have uh, their own cultures, and all of the bonuses and penalties that result from these will uh, will result from the interaction between uh, cultures of characters and their settlements. For the moment, we're going to defer that choice and choose Cosmopolitan. And on this page, we're asked to choose a settlement government. This settlement government choice will be based on the character class of the lord uh, that you've selected. In this case, we have a squire, which is a noble lord. And this gives us options relating to uh, the aristocracy and the monarchy. Um, other lords of other classes will have different options. This ensures that settlements are very unlikely to be ruled in identical fashions. And we're just going to go ahead and go for the traditional empire available to all lord characters. Now we'll be asked to choose a settlement economy. Uh, this will determine how uh, goods and services can be transacted in the economy as well as issues of national taxation and uh, private property ownership. For the moment, we're just going to go ahead and go with an entrepreneurial economy. And finally here, we'll be asked to select our settlement society. This is the third of the choices that will determine how our settlement is ultimately managed and how the political system within it functions. Um, we've got options here uh, also relating to the character class of the lord that we've selected. We're just going to go with Divine Right of Kings that's available to all lords pretty standard sovereignty. Now we're asked to choose a base settlement religion. Uh, this religion will relate uh, in a similar fashion to culture uh, to the uh, religions of characters present in the settlement. A lot of decisions made within the government will determine how important this choice is. Many uh, settlements in the time period depicted um, were fairly secular, whereas others were theocracies. So. Um, how much this matters really is up to the players. I'm just going to go ahead and go with other. And we'll be asked to select a philosophy here. This is just the basic philosophy of the settlement. Uh, it can determine a variety of small, low-level bonuses that will um, shape the development of the settlement over time. And like the uh, previous cultural and religious selections, it will interact with the uh, player-selected philosophies in order to provide small adjustments, uh, particularly in regards to the political engine um, and governments that allow the NPC population to vote. Um, and just for the moment, we are going to select um, Futurist. Yeah. This will give us a final option of adjusting any of these settings. Uh, if we click any of these options, it will just take us right back, and we'll be able to choose different settings. And finally, we'll be uh, asked to name our settlement. And once we name that settlement, we hit Submit, and it'll take a few minutes to process. And you will be uh, moved automatically to and granted sovereignty of your new settlement consisting of um, fields with a grant rate. I hope this video has been helpful. If you'd like more information about Brunelleschi Age of Architects, please feel free to check out our YouTube channel. Just search for Brun Game on YouTube. Or um, feel free to come play the game. It's 100% 100, 100 free of charge at BruneGame.com. Thanks again for watching.